Hey everyone, in this video, I will talk about Go High Level Pop-Up Builder. Now, I made a video on this a long time ago and you guys loved it so much. You gave me a lot of positive response, but I realized that they've made a lot of changes to the builder and it looks quite different now. It's also different in terms of functionality. Now, that's why I'm making this video again and hopefully it will be very useful for you. Talking about the Pop-Up Builder in Go High Level, they've made some changes. One of the changes that I really loved is the ability to create multiple pop-ups on the same page. I know we were struggling with it a lot and we were trying to find workarounds to create multiple pop-ups on the same page, but it can be natively done now. And the other thing is Go High Level pop-ups are an element of the page. So websites have pop-ups and they get blocked using the pop-up builders that we use on our browsers like Chrome or Safari. But the pop-ups in Go High Level they usually don't get blocked because they are created using HTML, where the other website pop-ups are externally pushed or embedded using JavaScript. So these are the two things that I really loved about the pop-ups in Go High Level. So let's go ahead and have a look at how to create it and how you can use it for your funnels. Now, the first thing we will do is on our sub account, we will go to sites here and then we will go to any of our existing funnels, but we can also create a funnel like from a template or something. Let's do this. Let's just create one of the existing pages. Like let's go with this one, real estate. And we will see how to create pop-ups for this funnel on the landing page. Okay, so this is our page. In order to create pop-ups, we need to go to the pop-up settings over here. So we will click on it. And as you can see, we only have one pop-up right now. So we will say this is a pop-up and then we will call it lead capture pop-up. And then here we can just add a row. It's pretty similar to the funnel builder. So we'll just select a headline saying that enroll now or something. And then we can have a paragraph here saying that fill out the form to contact us or something here and then here under that we can add a form or a survey so let's just add a form for now we can just add any of these forms over here and the forms will be created inside go high level under the form builder and just save it any of these elements that you can see here can be used on the pop-up but usually because we use pop-up for lead capture we just use headlines subheadlines and then the form or a survey or a calendar that's pretty much what we use but that's our pop-up. Hey everyone, just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join, you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on Go High Level Ads Automation AI. You can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where I conduct training on many different topics and we do a Q&A session after that. Besides, you get free access to a lot of my courses that I'm not uploading on YouTube anymore. Some of them you can already see on the screen. Also, there are members only discounts. If you join, you get 50% off on my courses, my snapshots, my funnels, everything. That's pretty much what I want to share see you on the other side now if we want to further configure it just click on pop-up settings and then here you have the configuration window so you can just either disable it or you can enable it close pop-up on clicking outside so if you click anywhere else on the page does it close if you want to close that you can just turn it on and then width can be adjusted from here show pop-up which is very important show pop-up on either exit or a delay so you can now show pop-up when they're trying to leave the page, which means they're trying to go to another tab or something, that pop-up will appear. That's what we call exit intent pop-up. And we can also show it after a certain time. So let's just have this pop-up show on exit intent. So some of the other adjustments you can make is now the position, which is very important. So you can just have it. We usually show pop-up on the middle as a center. So we'll just save it and then see how it works. Once it's saved, we will go to the preview. Now we have this pop-up in this page. And when the page loads, we can just test it to see if it shows up on exit intent. Okay, so we have the page, right? So we are just browsing it. And then when we try to exit the page, the moment I hover my mouse over on the menu bar of this browser, the pop-up will show up because the browser has detected an exit intent from me. So that's why it showed up. Now let's go ahead and create another pop-up. So we will go to pop-up settings and then create new pop-up. And then we will say delay pop-up. And now what we will do is here on intent, we can just add it on a delay. So basically what we are saying is we are, let's just add another column, add another element, and we will say 20% off enroll now. So this is also creating a sense of urgency. So we will add another form in it or something, or maybe just uh, promote the webinar. So webinar in five days, right here now. So this is our webinar pop-up. Through this pop-up, we will be advertising our webinar. Here, go to pop-up settings, and then again, show pop-up on delay, and then show it after 15 or 20 seconds or something, or maybe 10 seconds. Uh, once someone enters the page and waits for 10 seconds, keeps scrolling for 10 seconds, that pop-up will appear. That's something you can do 
as well now. So we've created two pop-ups so far. And if we now go to the page and do whatever we do on the page for 10 seconds, hopefully after 10 seconds, it, was, it will appear. There we go. And when we try to exit this, another pop-up will appear. So that's something you can do, which is pretty cool now. And also go to pop-up settings. You can create other pop-ups as well, like this headline, leave your details, add another form or survey this time, something like this. And then you can just save it. So when you're done saving it, you can just close this and then open the pop-up on button click. So I'll just do pop-up settings and this is the third pop-up. So just button click pop-up. Now we will just show pop-up on none, set it to none. So this pop-up will not open until we manually open it. And here on the button, if you go to the button actions, right button actions, and then go to open pop-up. Now you can select the button click pop-up open when this button is clicked. And that goes for any buttons in this page. So when it's loaded, I'll just refresh this page and click on this button to see that pop-up. There we go. So this is another pop-up. So we so far created three pop-ups based on different use cases. The first one is opening up on exit intent when we try to exit the page. The second one shows up 10 seconds after we land on this page. Anyone lands on this page. And the third one will pop up when we click on a button, when we manually trigger it. Based on different use cases, we can use different pop-ups now. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to share about the pop-up builder and go high level. And you can see there is an order as well that defines the priority of the order for pop-ups. Topmost one will show up in case all the three pop-ups are open. This one will show up on top and then after that, this one and then lastly this one. So hopefully this video was useful and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions on the pop-ups and I will see you in the next one.